Hello, this time I'm sat in front of a massive TV and on a squeaky chair, neither of which belong to me, and I'm vaguely moaning about... Netflix has been in the news lately for all the wrong reasons. Declining subscriptions, massively decreasing company value, and restrictive changes to accessibility on the horizon. They're even talking about putting in ads. But I'm not really going to be complaining about any of those things. Well, I will a bit. You see, Netflix may have spent the last decade crawling up the Fortune 500 and becoming a byword for sitting in your underpants watching five hours of crap. But this plateau, and soon the decline of Netflix, has been virtually inevitable for a long time. So, before I start complaining about Netflix, let me complain about the reporting about Netflix, itself as dumbed down as the platform's original content. Waves and waves of short, robo-written articles on Netflix subscriber losses, 200,000 in quarter one of 2022. The first subscriber loss in 10 years. They all make out that this is disastrous for Netflix, which it probably is, and that this is some sort of surprise, which it definitely isn't. Some of the articles stop there. Others do in fact mention that Netflix added about 50 million subscribers globally over the last two or so years. Netflix predictions over these times were wildly optimistic, especially in terms of the USA. It seems their fantastic growth obscured their sight of a natural, obvious ceiling. There are only so many people. By 2019, Netflix was in more than 50% of households in the USA. Of all the articles I've read, very few mention something very important. In fact, if you look at their Wikipedia page, the word only comes up once, and in relation to Blockbuster. Netflix is built on debt. It has around three times as much debt as net income, around $15 billion of debt. But, I will argue, wildly, that that isn't enough debt. Debt. Lovely, lovely debt. It's like it's 2007. Debt! The operating income of Netflix, Warner Media, which is now Warner Brothers Discovery, and Disney, are quite similar. Netflix looks like a real contender. But Disney has more than four times the assets of Netflix. Netflix knew it wouldn't be without competition forever, but I think it really lost sight of why it was successful in the first place. Simply, the reason Netflix was ever successful was it got there first. For a while, it had the video-on-demand monopoly. Is it on TV? Is it on Netflix? If not, I guess I'll have to buy the DVD. Really, Netflix was lucky that HBO and Disney were so slow to the party. Really, Netflix was arrogant. Once it represented a bargain, it felt like you could save so much money. But they couldn't hold on to the rights of things that mattered, and they instead became as much a producer of content as a distributor. Some of these shows, not very many of them, but some of them are worth watching. Most seem to be quickly produced, as if Reed Hastings himself has elbowed away the intern and seized the bucket to demonstrate just how close he expects them to pa- But I honestly think Netflix was always going to lose the battle of the rights. Other studios have huge catalogues of recognisable titles. Why let others profit so richly on that? So perhaps Reed Hastings has been doing the calculations all along, knowing full well things aren't going to work out, sort of like a corporate Albert Speer. I highly doubt Netflix will just die, but I wouldn't be surprised if their stock declines gradually until they are bought.
Beyond my highly amateurish business observations, I mean, look at it. Netflix is shit now. They brought out an Abercrombie and Fitch documentary the other day, 15 minutes to start of just people saying that Abercrombie and Fitch was really cool. Someone had a revelation that Abercrombie and Fitch might not be really cool because it's a business or something. Very stupid. Very stupid. Every 30 seconds, a new 90s pop music track in the background. Is that what you think of me, Netflix? Is that how stupid you think I am? Is that how stupid? I mean, you know, it's Netflix. I'm not really that bothered. The last episode of George Complains was about American healthcare, so it's not like these are equal things. It's not something important like chemicals going into the water or somebody shitting on or near Johnny Depp. But if you're going to have autoplay on Netflix, which I, I sort of resent because I know that it's a way of tricking statistics because you count everything after two minutes as fully watched, if you're going to have autoplay on, could you give me 30 seconds to read the fucking synopsis, please? I'm asking, and the search function, what is that? That is terrible. Did you really think I was searching for a film called Documentary? Documentary. Did you mean Will Smith? Once, I switched it on, and there was a Gaspar Noe film in the new and trending section that auto-plays. And it did auto-play. And the first shot of that film is a man with his knob out. Which is why I was never ordained. <laughs> Netflix. Do you think I can't see that you're plainly favouring your own content in your carousels? I can see that. I'm not stupid. If you want people to watch your original content, maybe think about removing that label, because whenever I see Netflix original on a TV show, it tells me don't bother because it will never be finished. If I see that label on a film, it says just watch a 30 minute YouTube video about this because it's exactly the same thing without the padding. If it's an eight hour film, then there's really 90 minutes of content there. Fuck off. Do you want to watch this? Here's season seven only. Two years ago, you watched Freak Dating for 28 seconds because we autoplayed it and you couldn't find the remote. Why not check out some of these similar titles, you shite? They've been claiming for the last 10 years that adequate performance will get you fired and that you must be the best of the best of the best, Men in Black style to work for Netflix. Is this why everything's fucked? Is this why the world is in ruins? Because the best of the best of the best can't work out how to get a fucking start from the beginning button to start from the fucking beginning? Is that why Netflix? I'm not really angry, but fucking come on. Come on, you fucking donkey. Wow, wow, wow. I'm mad now, fucking. fucking mad. Where do you think you're going? I'm still here, I've still got more to talk about. I could talk about Bird Box. Bird Box, oh yeah, if that was in the fucking cinemas, people would have gone to see that, wouldn't they? Yeah, that would have been super popular. Fuck off, it was shit. It was terrible. Eat shit, you shit. Fuck. Cock and fuck. Balls. Penis ass. Cow bastard. <laughs>